Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day one, and Water Week has begun. But before we can get into Water Week, we've got to wrap up last week. And uh, that means we've got to see if we made it to our goal. We didn't. Not quite. But we got very, very, very close. We were only about 16, 17,000 away from the Master 8 that I was trying to hit. So we got very close. I'm really proud of it. It's not quite the Master 8 I wanted, but it was a good effort. You know, solid A for effort. But uh, maybe next time. But for now, let's go ahead and wrap up last week. Let's get these 100 sleep points for uh, sleeping for a very long time. 2,810 total sleep points. For our daily lottery, we have all of the Water Week bundles now available, as well as 20 more diamonds. It does look like we're on another diamond run, so uh, I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and jump into this sleep report. We've got one final sleep report here on Snowdrop, just to see. Uh, whoop, whoop. Got to make sure we click on it. There it is. One final sleep report. Trying to see if we get that dozing sleep type. I don't know if it's going to happen. I feel like I slept pretty hard last night, so probably not. 8 hours, 31 minutes of sleep. Uh, didn't sleep for a long time, yeah. Well, that's weird. What happened there? Interesting. Okay, apparently I didn't move at all. Again, slumbering type sleep, so still no luck on getting the dozing. I think we only got it once, like the first night this week. And it was too early, possibly too early for Delibird to even spawn. So, yeah, maybe that wasn't the best one. Not really too sure, to be honest with you. Um, that is unfortunate. That's not what I wanted to happen. I was really hoping this would be the dozing and we could get a shot of Delibird, but 127 million drowsy power is pretty good. So maybe we'll get something interesting at least. I see in a top belly Geo dude. What a Geo dude. Oh, speaking of pronunciations, uh, I was not expecting like 99% of the comments yesterday. Ooh, Glaceon to be about the pronunciation of Togetic. A uh, lot of things make sense. Togetic just sounds right in my head. Like when I say it, it sounds better, but it does make more sense for it to be Togepi, Togetic, and Togekiss. But if you try to take the same pronunciation, Togetic, Toga kiss, toga pee, toga. Yeah, I mean, it also kind of works. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see how my brain says it whenever I come across it again. But for now, two Geo dudes, a Snover, a Marowak, a Glaceon, and a Why Not, and that leaves two new sleep styles, which is very good. I think that might be all we need to get to 390. Lucario. Oh, okay. I forgot you could even spawn here. Mid training sleep. Oh, we just passed out in the middle of training. Lazy. That is the two star sleep. And that means. Okay, so we're halfway there. We still need the three and the four star for Lucario. We'll get him eventually. For now, let's just hope that it isn't another mid training Lucario. It is another Lucario. The three star. There we go. Training break sleep. Oh, Lucario is very lazy today. <laughs> Falls asleep mid training, takes a break from training. Feel like we're learning a lot about you today, Lucario. But that only leaves the atop belly, so uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad at all. And a decent amount of dream shards and XP for both of those. So we should walk away with a pretty good amount today. But for now, <laughs> nobody's hungry. We've gotten very unlucky on that, too. Um, uh, you know what? I think it's time for a new Geodude. Uh, I have a couple of good ones, but, uh, kind of feel like it's time for a better one. There, the ones I have are okay. The shiny one's pretty decent, but I would like a, a triple A Geodude for now. I'm just going to feed him the Poke Biscuit though, because it's not a huge priority for us. We're not really in need of soybeans. It's just something I would like to have. So we'll just... Let's feed him the bonus biscuit and move on. Not really anything else here worth feeding, to be honest. So we'll wrap that up there. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to go with the Eevee candy. It's probably a safe bet for everybody because you can never have enough Eevee candy with uh, all of the evolutions and trying to power them up. 
So we'll go with the safe bet there. I don't think anybody else is really going to be worth sending candy out for. But 5,211 research XP and 13,214 dream shards. Very, very good. And that's why it's nice to push the ranks. But that's going to be it for this week. Again, we didn't quite make the Master 8 goal, but we got very, 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 very close. Very close. I tried to stay up a little bit late to see if we could. It would have, uh, I'd probably have to stay up all the way until breakfast, if not later, in order to make it happen. So I just said, man, you know what? We got close. It was a solid attempt. We'll get them next time. But we got 35% area bonus at Snowdrop Tundra now. So Snowdrop Tundra, Master 8, if we try really hard again, shouldn't be a problem. But we've got Water Week to look forward to, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, you probably already know where I'm going to go based on the uh, Pokemon that I need, but week 56, I forgot about the weekly summary yet again. Master 7, 1,272,561 final strength. Again, we needed like 1,289,000, 88,000 to get Master 8, so very close. Uh, 499,986,000, or 986 from berries, and 772,575 from cooking. Overall grade of A, that makes sense. My sleep was all over the place, especially towards the end of the week with uh, everything going on. That makes sense. Also, what happened Wednesday? Did I go to bed? Like, oh yeah, I went to bed super early and woke up super early because, uh, yeah, because of Thursday. That makes sense. Cool. I'm actually surprised I got three stars on sleep duration. Okay, so yeah, I mean, this was bound to happen. We definitely need to be here. Master 12 is our old record. Uh, maybe we can shatter it this week. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to try. But a boy Whooper's here. And we still need a good Toto Dial. Uh, I thought about going to Tope just to uh, not max out my area bonus here yet. But the fact that I need that Toto Dial, I figured I might as well just come here. Curries would be great. But we got salads yet again. Uh that's not good. Uh, I was really hoping to not get salads. When was the last time I got curries? I really would have preferred curries. Actually, desserts would have been pretty good too, because Blastoise, this would have been a nice little uh, practice run for Suicune in a way. Uh, but not bad. I did swap in our grocery shopping team. Also, yes, good sleep day is today. I forgot that started today. All right, sweet. So we've got good sleep day for the first day. The first day of good sleep day for the first day of the water week. Tomorrow, we've got the big good sleep day. So make sure that you're using your incenses for today, tomorrow, and the day after. Uh, remember, if you've only got one, to use them tomorrow, especially the growth incense. That is the optimal time. Luck incense is a really good thing to use tomorrow as well. Uh, but given that it's just Tuesday, even with the extra drowsy power, it may not be super great, but we will still get that times six with a growth incense, that times six sleep XP for the Pokemon on your team. So remember to swap out your team tonight if you need to do that. I'm getting ahead of myself and collecting stuff. No, I'm not because it's the beginning of the week and we've got to get these guys out of here to start worrying about the berries we want. Uh, but yeah, make sure to do all that tonight. Swap out your team if you want to get that multiplier for a specific set of Pokemon and your growth incense as well as any other incense you may or may not want to use. Let's go ahead and collect all of this, though. I, just, I was hoping for a skill trigger there. No luck. I tried to swap in for an ingredient team that would cover a wide range of stuff. Uh, I think I tried to get at least to be able to make a decent recipe, regardless of the type that we got. But it seems that we got salads. So... Let's see, is Calm Mind Fruit Salad the way to go again? It might be. I didn't get enough honey. I did have everybody on the team that could have gotten what we needed, but uh, we're short quite a bit of honey. This, uh, like I was saying last week, this Venusaur, or the week before, this Venusaur that we got for honey does not seem to be working out too well. And that's kind of a problem. Okay, well, let's try to make as strong of a first salad as we can and see if we can get... Mm, let's not use the corn. We do need honey. Two herbs would be good. 
Uh, yeah, we want to save the rest for other meals because we need the corn, the honey, and the apples for the calm mind salad. So we're going to save that. Let's see. If we can get extra tasty here to help make up for it, no luck. That would have been nice, but no luck. 15,651 is not bad, though. Not the worst scenario, but could have definitely been better. Okay, so let's move on. We know what we need to do now. We need Skeledirge. I really would have preferred desserts, given that our Blastoise is, uh, you know, Blastoise brings in Orin Berries. That would have been great. Let me see. Maybe there's a salad that I can use Blastoise for that may be more beneficial in the long run. Either that or I'm just being really blinded by trying to get that favorite berry when it may not be the best idea. Another animation? Is this just repeating? Oh no, basic five. Well, we made it to basic five already. <laughs> okay. So let's see. For salads, again, is there something we can use? What is the, yeah, there's really not, really not much we can do about that. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really anything. I mean, contrary chocolate meat salad is the first salad that uses cocoa. There's nothing really that uses milk until we get a little further down. Yeah, the Moo Moo, Moo, Moo Caprese salad. Definitely not trying to make that. I know I've seen people have some luck with the... Where's it at? The Ninja salad, but I just still don't have the leeks coming in to make that work. Um, Yeah, honestly... We're just not in a good place. But I do have an idea. Something we might be able to do. Go back, take a step back a little bit. Depends on how quickly we get a good whooper. But if we get a decent one, we might be able to swap out to the spore mushroom salad. But I don't know. It really just depends on how this Venusaur treats us, to be honest. And unfortunately, I think we are just going to have to go with the Calm Mind fruit salad again. It's not the worst thing, to be honest. I just really wanted to get the favored berries just to try to get that little extra strength throughout the week. But uh, it looks like that's not happening. So we can just kind of go back to our original salad team and possibly employ the same strategy that we had last week where, uh, oh yeah, part of the reason that we didn't get to Master 8, I believe, is because Gardevoir was super slacking. Um, I believe after like 2 or 3 p.m., I did not get a single skill trigger from Gardevoir all day. Not one. So that's why everybody's energy is super low, except for Raticate, because he triggered and charged his own energy. Um, but yeah, Gardevoir kind of slacking on me last week. Um, funny enough, we're going to have to change this entire team. Who is going to be a good idea for favorite berry here? That's the real question. If I could click on the button... And then I missed. Come on. Get it together, my guy. Been playing this game almost a year. You should know how to do this by now. Okay. Um. Yeah, we could. Let's take a look at you. I've It's been so long. Helping bonus is very good. Don't like the ingredient finder. But don't really need his main skill if Gardevoir will actually get uh, their act together. So maybe that's a good one. That might be a good one. Mm. Oh, you know what? I remember. I remember somebody offered up a very good solution to my uh, Swablu thing to use one of them. Uh, keep it as a swab blue for a while for the berries and then evolve the other one to an Altaria for the dragon berries. The question is, do I want the berry finding swab blue on the team or do I want to start powering up this guy? 
and then we'll just evolve this one later. We'll leave it as a Swablu for now, let it get some XP, and uh, we'd have to go all the way to 50 to get that, which would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, I think the least resource intensive way to do this is to get this Swablu on the team. We'll let this one level up. You know what? Mm. No, I think we do need to let the other one on the team, especially with good sleep day coming up. We need to go ahead and get uh, some free XP on this guy. Let's go ahead and get our HFS Swablu on the team. Uh, then we can get, we know we need Skeledurge. Where you at, buddy? All the way down here. Really need to clean out this box. I've been saying that for weeks and I've just been slacking on it. Been very busy. Uh, we need the new Venusaur with Honey Honey. Need him to actually do his job. And we need Beware. And then if we can get to a good spot like we were last week, uh, I can swap in the Berry folks, the Raichu and... Uh, ooh. Let's swap in that other Swablu too. Um, yeah. You know what? I kind of want to level this one up quite a bit. Maybe to 25. Do I have enough for that? I don't know. Let's see if we need to use candy first. Either way, this is the team we're going to run with for now. Gardevoir, you disappointed me yesterday. This is the team we're going to run with for right now. I'm going to see what we can do about it. Um, might have to modify the strategy from last week just a little bit and throw in Pinsir instead of the Swablu just for a while to get some honey built up and then at night swap in for all the berry specialists and then in the morning swap Pinsir back out for Swablu but just gonna have to wait and see for now this is the team we're gonna run with but before I get even further uh, ahead no new news I didn't expect there would be new news uh, unfortunately, no new medals, but I do want to see exactly where we're at on the sleep styles. I think we are over 390 now. No, we are two away. Two away from 390, so we're almost there. Which I don't know when the next sleep style dex unlock is going to come out. I have a feeling it's going to be early next month, but who knows. Well, let's go ahead and check these community reports. Uh, 41 of them, very good, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They doubled up, very good. And I see a lot of starred uh, profile icons, very good. We've got a level up for one, uh, only one today. All right, two small, or one small handy candy. Not bad at all. Shiny Dedenne, looking cute. Okay, what else do we got today? Not a whole lot's going on, which makes sense. It's the start of the week, but we are already at basic four, even though it said basic five, but uh, it's probably just a display error. Uh, yeah, definitely not basic five. We need 26,000 for that. So not far off, but not quite there yet. Let's check these missions out real quick. They should be pretty easy. We did get to basic two to get that whooper incense. Let's go ahead and claim that now. Uh, get to Ultra 1 for 5 more biscuits, definitely gonna happen. Master 1 for 25 Whooper Candy, also gonna happen. Give out 15 biscuits may or may not happen for 5 small ingredient tickets. Probably need to try to get that just for, uh, times like yesterday where I needed some extra ingredients just to fill out the pot. Uh, cause relying on random to get the ingredients you need is not fun. We do need to use 100 candies at least. For 5,000 Dream Shards, use 7 Incense. For the water type, small water type candy, uh, cook 12 times for another 5 small water type candies. And stick to your bedtime 3 times for another 5,000 Dream Shards. Those all should be pretty easy. Then get to Grade 2, Ultra 4. The Incense we get this week is Eevee. I was really hoping for Totodile. Um, everything else looks pretty standard. Uh, we do need to use 262 candies to get 15 diamonds. So, uh, cool. Let's go ahead and do that then. We need to use candy for two missions. Might as well use it on a, a Pokemon that is going to be very helpful, especially once we get that Dragon Island. And we may just hold off, keep this as a Swablu until we do get that Dragon Island. Uh, but for now, 262 candy. Oh, that's right, we have Candy Boost. <laughs> Yay, I remembered this time early on. Remembered. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and Candy Boost this one Swablu. 
So we used 50, so now we need to use 212 more. Ba -dum -ba -dum -boom. Now we need to think of who else we're going to use Candy Boost on for the rest of the week. Uh, pseudos are always a good choice. Always a good choice. But for now, we just want to get this guy powered up. Mission complete, 262 candies and 100 candies. There it goes. Also, got us to level 25. So inventory space is super high, even though that's not really super necessary for this guy. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we rush this dude to level 50. Kind of feel like doing it, but uh, that would take way more candy than what I have. So I don't think that's happening. But we're in a pretty good spot now. No worries there. I think we're going to do all right this week. Um, let's see. Master 12, I think, was our, our previous record. But I believe that was during an event where we had boosted cooking. So let's see. Where's Master 12? 910,000? You know what? I think we can do that. 910,000. We're already at 23. We're going to be making Call Mine Fruit Salad. You know what? Let's shoot for the stars. Let's shoot for Master 13 this week. I think that's the plan. Let's go for Master 13. I think a million is definitely doable, given how far we've come in our salad production capabilities, especially uh, given how last week went, where we got to uh, over a million already on Snowdrop. So we're doing pretty good there, and we have a better area bonus here. I think we can make it to Master 13 this week. That's going to be the goal. Um, so that's what we're going to shoot for. For now, I did want to do a quick follow-up. Uh, the ingredients are out for whooper and quagsire so we're gonna go over those just real quick uh it looks like the ingredient rate and skill trigger rate has already been settled so 19 percent ingredient finding rate that's about average uh that's not too bad with a 3.2 percent skill trigger rate that uh i think that's slightly higher than average if i remember my skill trigger rates correctly so that's not bad at all uh again its skill is charge energy s so it'll keep itself energized throughout the day which is good because that means it, skill, it triggers its skill more often typically and brings in more ingredients throughout the day so that's very good it is the triple mushroom uh kind of what a lot of people were expecting I was hoping it would be egg, but that was just for my own personal benefit because I'm tired of hunting Delibird. <laughs> but it didn't make sense for egg. Mushroom did make sense, given the three that are left that we needed a triple ingredient mo Pokemon for. So mushrooms make sense. Uh, for me, I don't think there's really a way that uh, anything other than a triple A is going to be that great. I don't think there's too much overlap between these in ingredients. Uh, from mushrooms and potatoes, there's, uh, yeah, not anything that I'm seeing that's really worth it to get a combo. Yeah, none of the, I mean, here at the Spore Mushroom Curry, if you're at a lower level, but if you get it to level 30 to get those potatoes, you're probably not making Spore Mushroom Curry anymore. Now you could use it in a niche scenario where that's what you focus on so you can have a team full of berry specialists outside of Quagsire and just get this all day. But I don't know if you're going to bring in enough to make it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, but that's the only combo potential with uh, mushroom and... Well, no. There's also soft potato chowder, but it's kind of the same story as spore mushroom curry. You will still need another Pokemon for milk. Uh, but... You know, probably by the time you get to level 30, you're probably not making soft potato chowder anymore. Um, let's see. As far as... Well, it was sausage, right? Yes, sausage. So by the time you get to level 60, you're definitely... You're almost certainly going to be making these bigger meals. Maybe the ninja curry, it might help there. Um, that's actually not too bad. Leeks are pretty hard to get, so if you can get one Pokemon that can easily cover mushrooms and sausage, and those that's a low amount of mushrooms and sausage. So you could definitely use a Quagsire for that. So maybe AAC is a good combo potential for Quagsire. And what I mean by that is A is the first ingredient that's unlocked at level 1, B is the ingredient that's unlocked at level 30, and then C is the ingredient unlocked at level 60. So you're looking for AAC, which is mushroom, mushroom, sausage. So for an AAC Quagsire, that's actually not bad for Ninja Curry. In that scenario, it works very well. Um, 
for the rest uh again spore mushroom curry um you know what let's take mushrooms off let's only look at the sausage recipes uh because we're just looking for something that has sausage and mushrooms so yeah that's really the only scenario where the combo potential is very good so for me uh i would look for a triple a all mushroom whooper uh if not triple a and aac is actually not bad either especially since one collection brings in 12 sausage and you only need nine for the ninja curry for a curry team a quagsire with aac is going to do very very well but the main thing is going to be that triple a quagsire that's really going to help you bring in the mushrooms especially since gengar our really only real ingredient uh gatherer that brings in let's go double check yeah gengar with herb and mushroom was the only way we had before to get mushrooms uh and you can see the vast difference with a an aa quagsire it brings in almost 50 percent more than what gengar did because gengar was kind of a pseudo berry specialist but that's what we've got now so we've got kind of some settled rates on ingredient and skill trigger rates and we know the ingredients for quagsire now so now we know what to hunt for what we're looking for it's gonna be triple a or aac in my opinion but that aac remember is a niche scenario or potentially aab is an even more niche scenario but uh that is like a very 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 specific and probably rare circumstance that almost none of us are gonna do but it is something you could think about doing but like i said i just wanted to go over that real quick since we do know all the information about quagsire now so we got that out of the way water week is started good sleep day is started again don't forget to swap your teams out tonight before you go to bed and or use your incense that you plan to use before you go to bed um other than that that's gonna wrap it up today nope let's go grab our diamonds we used all those uh candies for it let's get our 5,000 dream shards and our diamonds because i like diamonds ah uh, come on why won't you go there we go 262 candies for 15 more diamonds click on the buttons trying a new thing where i have my phone like way down to where i can't look at it and it is uh <laughs> got me tapping all over the screen but that is going to be where we wrap it up today so thank you for watching the video make sure to hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy these videos a huge shout out to our ace trainers that support the channel flight master illusion jp white and husky star thank you if you do like to support the channel go ahead and click that join button right next to the subscribe button get early access to the videos and a bunch of other cool perks other than that make sure to click that discord link in the description box almost forgot again come on get it together man <laughs> come join us to talk about pokemon sleep and other video games other than that y'all have a good night and until next time later dudes